love seeing the birds flying around in the garden. All the other insects too, but yeah. Hi there, it's Leanne from Nalel Homeskills. So today I'm actually talking about this lovely plant here. Sorry about the sun in and out of the film. Um, talking about this lovely plant or plants, aloe vera and how good it is to have if you can grow it in your area um, in the garden or well for health reasons so you do flowers I love seeing the little birds come and eat the pollen or seeds out of the flowers so it's quite a fun thing for my boys to see too um, aloe vera I, I have aloe vera coming out of my ears this is just a little section I've got it all over different areas of my garden um, some plants are doing better than others honestly um, that's like lots of things um, I have snails that seem to love my aloe vera for some reason um, so I'm actually going to show you how to pick some um, now depending on what you're doing depends on what or why you want it um, depends on how big you pick. If you've just burnt a little bit on your finger, I just get something that size, just a small piece, slit it open. So I'll hang on, get my second tip. So it's as simple as getting just a, a little piece. Oh, we'll just get that piece. So I usually get one from, oh, you don't want to be looking at my secuties. Something just about that long. And then I cut it down the middle. Let's see if I can hold the camera and cut at the same time. Uh, so I've just made a, a slit in it, open it up. And I have literally just done that and put it on my son's finger when he um, burned himself. Open it further. Nice simple for that. Now for that I can still use. When I go to harvest a piece of aloe vera I actually like my bigger pieces. Oh sorry about the sun. The nice big pieces. Usually not one that's been attacked by a bug. Um, but yes, the nice big juicy pieces on the plant. And I will often go, I wonder if I can see one that I've harvested before. Um, it's not going to show me one. So I would normally come, don't mind my cobweb, come down for the bottom ones, leaving the top. I just cut one up. nice and simple. Now that will heal over itself. And I've got a nice big piece of aloe vera to play with. Now, I don't know if it's coming up on the film, but it's starting to get a little bit of brown in the juices. I like to drain my big ones and my little ones for about half an hour to try and get that brownie goo out. I'm still, while I'm here, looking for one that I've harvested before so you can see what it looks like. I think this is where I'd harvested before and it's just, honestly, oops, sorry, calloused over. Um, it doesn't grow back once you've um, cut them. So you can see here where the tip's been knocked off and it just calluses over. This bit will get bigger, you don't get a tip anymore. Um, so nice and easy. There's a flower shoot coming up. This is a, a dead old one where you can see the seed pods. Well, when there were seeds in there. I've never grown aloe vera from seed. I do not even know if it is something that do is done. If you've heard of it, I would love to hear in the comments. Like I said, I get pups of aloe vera. It's a little ones growing 
um, in my pots. They like to seem to fill out my pots. So I don't know if you could see this one. So I've got my big one that's gone out into the garden. Oh, you might not have seen that. And I've got another one growing here that's getting quite big and I should replant it. Then I've got little ones in, in there as well. Now, one thing about aloe vera is it doesn't like, it likes water, it doesn't, it, but it likes it to be drained away so it's not sitting in order. Otherwise, this happens. This is just a piece that's rotted off. Um, I could still use this bit, but I don't usually. Now, I have seen people try and plant that again. I never have success, honestly. That is not something I have managed. So bits like that, I will put in the compost bin um, just to put the nutrients back in the garden. So I'm gonna go inside now um, and show you the next bit. So you can see I've been getting the yellow, now it's called the sap, um, the yellow stuff out of the, or sap out of the aloe vera. Now this, is a laxative component and it's very bitter tasting. I do not recommend you trying this or tasting it. Um, and that's why I've got it standing up. Um, you can't actually see, I've got the aloe vera standing up on the plate, um, trying to drain that sap out. Um, this can come all the way to the end there. Now I also take off the tip. So I take off about, Hang on, let's see if I can do this on camera. Oops. Take off about that much of length. I do that because this part has most of that sap in it. It's very concentrated in that bit. And I've got the clear gel left. Now I also take this bottom bit off again because as you can see, the sap's concentrated in that piece and I'm getting a clear gel now. So I, you can get this to callus over and put it in a pot to regrow a plant. Honestly, I have never had success doing it. I seem to rot it. I, yeah, um, I do not succeed when regrowing from a cutting. I know people can, I know it is possible not one of my fortes I'm just going to put that over there I've got another plain plate that I like I said this is longer than my hand it's just over two finger width fingers width so I'd say it's maybe an inch in um depth at this end so this stem uh, leaf it's a leaf actually. This leaf would be about two years old. I like to harvest about then because you've got some nice gel in the avocado leaf to use. Now the outside bit is called the rind. Now these spiky bits, you can touch them. If I, I would have irritated skin if I was knocking against them all the time. My kids say they hurt, but that's okay. I don't really want my kids to be um, playing near the av avocado, avocado, aloe vera. Um, so it's just a nice protection for the plant itself. Now, I don't know if you know, but aloe vera is known as the first aid plant. There are so many beneficial properties from it. Um, and just a few are healing properties from cuts, burns and wounds, because um, it soothes the, um, the wound itself. So it's reported to have anti my no, I'm not going to be able to say that, um, but it's got antibiotic um, properties, antioxidant properties, um, anti-inflammatory properties, just to stay, name a few. Now, please do your own research of all the different things that it can do. I like to make like I said, I find it's a really nice moisturiser for the skin, especially if it's dried from just everyday life 
or you've been out in the sun too long or windburn, it just has that um, penetrating of your layers of skin and bringing back the moisture in it. Now it, it's supposed to be able to moisturise your skin quicker than water um, and can penetrate seven layers of skin. Um, I've got information that it says it's four times faster than water. So down in the description, I'll say where I've got my information from, but there are so many other um, places for information about aloe vera. I just, it's such a good plant to have on hand for little bits. Like I said, now normally I would cut the tips off. Like I said, that was on the other plate here. So that's my bit that's got the sap in. Now when it's just a little bit of a wound, like I said, I opened it up, it's got a bit of dirt. I'm not stressed about the dirt. I will wrap it around a finger. Um, I get this to do with the kids. I'm not stressed if they get the gel on their fingers and put it in their mouth. If it's got the sap, I don't like them doing it. But the gel itself, um, it's got a bit of taste too, but you can eat it. Um, I've seen people put it in smoothies so that you're hiding um, that taste. But yeah, look, you can see the, the gel um, just as I've rubbed it on my fingers there. Um, it is a a sticky feel but that's so good just to rub into the skin moisturizing the skin um, it doesn't take long for it to actually penetrate and so you can just do that with the little leaves otherwise what I do with a big leaf get a nice sharp knife and I will start at the top end let's see if I can do this around the camera up the top here and I just like to slither down this one sharp side. I'm trying to go to, so about like that. Now, as I'm doing this, honestly, I get these bits that I've cut off and I rub them on my skin. So let's see if I can, I just literally rub like that. I'm getting the gel and I just keep rubbing all over until I, um, it dries out so there is still gel on there and I would keep using that. Um, it takes a while to, I'm just rubbing it into my arms now, um, it takes a while to actually use up the gel from a leaf. Um, so I don't know if you can see on my skin, just the, um, so do one side and then I'll go do the other. Now as you can see, I'm not getting the yellow sap on my plate like I did on the other one. Um, that's why I like to drain it so that you don't have that. Um, that's the bit that if you're allergic to aloe vera, it's usually that sappy bit that you are allergic to. Now, again, do your own research. Um, I don't take my word, talk to a doctor or someone. I would hate for you to go, oh, it's only this bit that I'm allergic to if you are, and then you have reactions. So please do your research. Yeah, just rub it on your skin. And nice, if you've got the plant, nice moisturizer. Now, honestly, I don't do this every day. Um, I might harvest a leaf unless we've had an injury um, once or twice a week, just depending on how we're using it. Now, depending on how comfortable you are, you might be able to do it fully this length or cut them into pieces um, to take off the rind. Now I stab it through, try to go all the way through. Bit of pressure. Now I'm trying to stay close to the rhyme so I'm not losing too much of the um, pulp or the gel. Just go up like that. I do still have a little bit there but I'm not stressed. Like I said, I rub this on my skin. The 
it's just a bit of dirt that's floating around as we've been doing this. I turn around, go the other way. And again, oh, I'm not stressed if I take too much off. Or if I leave a little bit behind. If I take that, I oh, can see all the gel coming up now. And I, yeah, like I said, rub this. Now, it's big slithers like this. I find it really good if your kids have been out and not put the sunscreen on like you've asked them to, or they've been out with other people and they have and they've come home burnt. Um, and you just put the whole leaf on the back and it seems to soothe their skin a bit more. Sometimes they get a little bit of stingy um, feel. But for example, if my arm was the back, I'll just put it on like that, no pressure. And it's giving you a cool feel instead of that burning feel. Um, so that's another use. Then I just turn it over and do it again. I'm trying to look through the camera and now I've left a bit there and I've got a bit of skin there. Again, I'm not stressed. Um, turn it around. Now this bit does become slippery because you're playing with the gel now as well. So I don't know if you can see. Oh, the <laughs> lovely gooiness. Now that there is a beautiful bit of gel. Um, I do take off all the green bits, honestly, so that's, I'll take, cut them away. And you can um, pulp this up, put it in a bit of a, um, now this bit, like I said, it is possible to eat. It does have a bit of a bitter taste, honestly, but you can eat this bit. I've been told it's good for your teeth, but if you can handle the bitterness, um, and I'm not saying go out and eat. Make sure you're not allergic to it first, please. Please do your own research. Um, and you can make this into, um, add it for moisturizers, soothing ointments. I will mix this with a bit of coconut oil and tea tree oil, and that's my go-to um, healing cream that I use for the kids. And again, those things, um, as long as you're not getting it in your eyes, I don't mind my seven and 10 year old to then go, oh, mummy, I've cut myself. We'll go put a bit of cream on it, um, if that makes sense. Or mummy, my, uh, my skin's dry. Well, go get a bit of that aloe vera and rub it on your skin. Um, it seems to, it's one of those, like I said, first aid plants is what it's been known for. Um, it's been used for a long time, so they're saying that people like Cleopatra used to bath in aloe vera or put it in their baths just to help this moisturise their skin. Um, I don't know how long it stays out of the fridge for this gel, so I usually put it in the fridge, but I like to use this within a week if I'm not putting, um, honestly. Um, if I'm putting it in the fridge, it lasts a, long, a lot longer. Um, but like anything, check before you use something if it's been sitting there for a while. Um, keeping it out of the air too. Now, we've been having sanitizers for a long time because of what's going on with the world as well. Mixing this into a pulp using a blender or, um, yeah, I usually use a blender with a bit of alcohol and you've made your own sanitizer. Um, so you've got that alcohol that's killing, but the aloe vera is helping um, as well. What can I say? I love aloe vera. If you can grow it, it is one plant I would say that just is handy for um, healing. Now, again, I'm not saying if you've got a main 
ailment not to go to the doctor, please go to the doctor. If you've got third degree burns, please go to the doctor or hospital. Um, for a minor touch that, oh, I've touched the oven tray, yeah, this will help. If you've got sunburnt or windburnt, yes, this will help. Is this a nice moisturizer? I think it, it's a nice moisturizer. It's a personal opinion. Please do your own research. This is just what I've, um, this is my opinion, my thoughts. Now, like I said, you can eat this white fleshy bit. Um, I don't recommend eating the, the rind. I don't recommend eating the brown sap bit. Let's see if I can bring that, that bit. Now that will upset your tummy. It's, um, this bit, if you can handle the bitterness. One thing I will recommend though, if you've had it on your hands like this and you've touched your face, um, I've used it for lip gloss, lip balm type. You notice you've got that bitterness and you'll go, oh, what's the... And then remember, oh, that's right. I was touching aloe vera. Um, do not put it around your eyes. It might be okay. I don't like to put anything around my eyes just because um, same with any... Um, concentrate around, um, I prefer external skin or not your sensitive areas. Again, it might be okay. Do your own research. The, the areas that you've got to be careful with anyway. So whatever you put on, um, please just be aware and you can see it glistening on my hands but you rub it into the skin and your skin feels soft afterwards. Um, so yes, my recommendation, go out, get some aloe vera if you can. Um, I've seen it grown indoors. Again, I don't have luck with indoor plants, so that's, um, but aloe vera, as long as you're watering, I keep it in pots so that it helps to drain. As long as you're watering it twice a week, um, it's usually pretty good. Any more than that, it it goes, oh, I don't like you and, and you've got that potential of rot. Um, but always check your soil. That's, that's the best indicator that I find that go, oh, this is a little pot. Oh, yep, I'll give it a little bit of water. Not a lot of water, just enough to keep it. Um, like I said, I I like aloe vera because you can leave it and neglect it and it will come back again. Um, you can have it in shady areas, I seem to. You can have it in full sun, but sometimes if you've been having it in a shady area, it will sulk in full sun. Um, if it's been in full sun and you take it to a shady area, again, it might sulk. So just do it gradually, just so that it's got time to um, get used to where you're moving it. But yeah, I find semi-shade, so, so they get enough sun. It's on my front porch, those, or um, I've got some out in the back too. But those bits that they're not in eight hours or some, I find are more my more successful areas i hope you've liked this video please like and subscribe down the bottom if you've got any more ideas for aloe vera um, anything that you know that's worked please comment down below i'd love to see you next time this has been leanne from Nalel home skills